or the ancillary insurance programs are just that. They are the supplemental insurances outside of the health plan that we offer to our membership. ASPA started in 1929 to provide annuities at that time, which actually morphed into life insurance. So it came about at our beginning in 1929. Um, there wasn't a lot of interest in supporting anybody, the federal workforce, especially those who went overseas. So as an association, we were developed to find ways to, to help with the welfare of our members. So it came about at our beginning, actually. In the early 90s, I would say, members started looking around for other protections. The long-term care plan was the, the first extra plan we offered. And at that time, that was a relatively new concept. Long-term care has only been, was only developed in the late 80s, actually. And so we were one of the first associations to offer our members a long-term care plan. And we did it through Mutual of Omaha. Now, this was long before the federal government got into the business with the long-term care insurance program. So that was really the first thing. And then beginning in, in mid-80s, the dental benefits under the FEHB program plans, meaning the Foreign Service Plan or any plan that was under the FEHB program, those dental benefits were frozen, meaning that we could not change the, benef the dental benefits. But members needed that supplemental dental coverage. So once again, we went out and looked for plans that really met our unique members' needs. Now we have four dental plans, very, very flexible, very competitive, one specifically for our overseas members. MOH, or Members of Household, is insurance that provides um, adequate medical coverage for family members or friends that are not eligible for the coverage under the FEHB, the Federal Employees Health Benefit. Most people in the federal government are covered under the Federal Employees Health Benefits Program. Most Foreign Service covered under the Foreign Service Benefit Plan. Okay. But under those FEHB laws, the only people who can be covered are the employee, the legal spouse of that employee, and the children under age 26. Parents cannot be covered, even if they're on your orders. Even if they're on your tax form, it doesn't matter. Children over age 26 cannot be covered. Domestic partners cannot be covered. Only spouses. So there's a gap there. So we came in and, okay, there's a different group of people that we need to serve. So our members of household coverage now includes domestic partners, um, kids over age 26. I mean, even um, people who are on who are under J-1 visas, au pairs. So there's a lot of different people that while the FEHB can't cover them, we can. Nowhere do we see advertised the kind of holistic approach that AFSPA has to taking care of its customers, of, this, of taking care of the State Department. The, the, the soup to nuts approach for family members, au pairs, parents, and the risk, the inherent risk of tragedy that's always going to be, to be uh, something that is part of the equation. The Foreign Service, service abroad for the government is an inherently dangerous operation. On August 7th, 1998, we were notified that two of our embassies in East Africa, one in Kenya and one in Tanzania, were bombed by terrorists. 224 people died, 12 of those were Americans, and there were over 4,500 people who were injured. It was really a tragic, shocking day, 
and an ongoing nightmare, especially for those who had to live through it. Um, it was hard for those families because they had to deal with the administrative requirements of getting their their loved ones life insurance and pensions and all of that in in play so they were waiting well you know what doesn't wait the bills the mortgages the um, tuition payments the rentals all of that and uh, state did its very best but there are certain things that they really couldn't control you cannot ever drive risk to zero there are always going to be risk uh, being an American government employee overseas so that tragedy actually led to the Department of State developing what they now is established the Office of Casualty Assistance, which is a, a really resourceful pro, um, program within the department. So they approached us to develop something that would help not those families, but you know, in another situation like that. Thus the birth of the immediate benefit plan. The Immediate Benefit Plan, or IBP, um, is just that, it, just as the name implies. It is a term life insurance that pays an immediate benefit to your beneficiaries within two business days of AFSPA being notified of your death. Um, this is wonderful for um, your loved ones um, to help plan for funeral expenses and it's a great supplement to your other life insurance policies that may take a little longer to pay out. for disability because it, it really wasn't available to the, the federal um, workforce and more specifically to the federal foreign service community. If you had to be off work because of a serious illness or an accident or whatever for say six months, how would you pay your bills? Do you have enough sick leave? Do you have enough savings in your bank account? Where is your safety net for that? So if, those, if the answers to those questions are no, doubtful, and I don't know, then you probably need to consider disability insurance. So you want financial protection, um, whether it's for you or for you and your family. And to know that in the event that you will not be able to work, you will have this income to help supplement um, you until you are back to work full time. strive to anticipate and then meet the members needs and they change constantly but they know that when we put our name on a product it's a good product it's a matter of trust for us we want to support um, the physical mental and financial wellness of our membership being able again to turn to turn to AFSPA is a partner in this a partner who understands uh, the needs of the Foreign Service and who makes those fulfilling those needs its primary mission rather than you know than, than chasing profits is just, just critically important to allowing us to move forward as an entity that supported the family that supported the members of the Foreign Service and members of the Civil Service as well. We've grown a lot and anybody who has knows anything about our history can attest to that. But by offering these ancillary programs, AFSPA has become a much more well-rounded and comprehensive resource to our members. We listen to our members and we grow with them. By expanding our support and offering the protections in the, that we feel they want to consider in their portfolio so that the, themselves and their entire family have access to really quality products and, and programs that meets their needs. It's evident in all the new legitimate programs, and I emphasize legitimate programs, that we bring on board. For example, our newest critical illness plan that we just began offering in July of this year. It's really a, a great program, and again, it fills a special gap that we have, have seen, as well as, of course, our willingness to really look at what we are offering, look at the members' needs, and expand the existing programs as those needs change. 
So I guess you could say that um, our, one of our quotes is caring for your health worldwide. Maybe I should change that to just caring for you worldwide. But it always is putting the members first. Thank you.